What's going on, paint pouring family? This is Garrett Brown Art Studio, and this is a very special video. We got a lot to talk about, so we getting ready to talk. If you haven't heard or seen, I had the opportunity to be on national television. The show is called Meet Your Maker Showdown, and my episode actually aired on Christmas Day. Uh, it was an amazing opportunity, and to find out who won, you're going to have to go watch it. The details are below, but you can definitely watch it for free. And I have another announcement. Um, my Patreon is active, so I um, am now a member of the Patreon world. So if you want to get some more sneak peeks, some more um, in-depth tutorials, exclusive content, um, free artwork throughout the year, check out my Patreon. I have many different membership levels that you can join at. Um, if you just want to donate to my channel to help with art supplies, or if you want to see a little more of me throughout the year, it's so much there. Um, I have some one that's going to help me manage it so that you can get the best bang for your buck. And I'm done with my announcements. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're pouring on a 10 by 20 today. So we're going to start things off with a ribbon pour up top. I'm just going to show you the consistency of these paints. Very fluid, leaves a short mound on a mound. So we're going to start off with some pillow paint. And I want it to be rather thick because we're going to do some spinning and some tilting today. So I'm going to be using the Bloom Recipe. And we're going to do some swiping. And today we're going to be using two cell activators on my Fluid Art Co. number three swiping tool. So I'm using two cell activators and I'm going to load my white up first. Especially here in the center where I know that I'll be swiping over my colors. I'm going to do some black on the outside because I really want to get some nice pretty um, black and white cells to spread out. And now we're just going to take some black cell activator and go over some of the white spaces as well. And we're going to swipe. And we're going to do the other side really quick.
And I'm just showing you what this looks like before we do some tilting and some spinning. Check out those teals popping up through that black. Absolutely love that. I love that right there as well. And we're just going to move our paint some. Oh, do you see the fish and the fins? All right. And see our cells are really spreading out here. I gotta do some additional tilting to get this corner down. It's really pretty. I love what we have so far. It's so majestic. And I love this swirl right there, that wave. So much action. But I'm going to do some more things to this piece. Let's do like a little ring pour over here. We're gonna take our glass and we're gonna pinch it in to make a bit of a spout. And we're going to pour. Ooh, I love that. And now we're gonna spin just a little bit. And we lost some of our white, but that's okay. So we're going to take a little more white pillow paint and do some more of our colors. 
This time I really want the focus to be gold. This time I'm taking my number one by Liquitex. Here's my cell activator. And we're just gonna smudge this in. I'm going to take an even smaller tool and hit some of these areas. This time with black. Now we're going to take our swipe tool, another one. And we're going to just scrape this paint. Isn't that just gorgeous? And now we're just going to. I really like the harsh lines here. I know some people won't, but I think I'm gonna leave this portion. So unfortunately, I had a huge gold drip that I didn't see, and I just could not do anything with it, and I feel like it ruined the piece. But this is the final look. I really like how everything else came out. Amazingly enough, this piece actually is sold. It's sold before it dried, and I ended up editing or replacing that annoying blob of gold. Um, I put down some white and kind of did like some shading effects. And then once I did my top coat of resin, I actually added these mini crystals and shimmers at the end, and you can never tell if it was there. So I'm pretty happy with that and I really appreciate you joining with me. I hope to see you again in another video very soon. Peace.